It's all right for you to say. I should have just come in whatever I was wearing, Carlos. But if you want me to do my deep lunges, then I've got to be comfortable when I'm doing them. You as a PT should know that. Well, you'll just have to push your next client back, won't you? I don't you cheeky me. I have to admit, Martine runs a tidy ship. She takes good care of me. But she's not your mum. But she's dead. Please don't say fiancé. If she was, she'd know where he is. So when does she give you dinner? After I've done my homework. After? Look, it's just her thing. I don't mind. Did you even ask her how you're supposed to think when you have an empty stomach? No, no, no. Look, I didn't allow you to move here so you could live with her. I allowed it because I thought you'd be living with your dad. It was so I would stay out of trouble. <laughs> and how's that working out, Sugar Dean, hmm? Skiving off? Stealing? I didn't bring you out to be that kind of child. And I'm worried that without a parent watching over you, meaning me or your dad, things are only going to get worse. Mum, I promise I'll behave. It sounds convincing, but I worry there's too much of Felix in you. What does that mean? It means you have potential, but you're not hitting it here. So tonight, you'll stay with me in the B&B, &B, and tomorrow we'll pack up our bags and go back home. Hollyoaks isn't for you. Sally, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't quite cut it. The Board of Governors, whose job it is to decide if you are fit to become a deputy head, found your absence unprofessional. Can you speak to them for me? Tell them how well I interviewed. Well, I would if I could, but in the absence of any excuse, it would be pointless. I've got an excuse. I... Darren left me. Oh, Nancy. Oh. But I thought you two were in a good place. So what's changed? He changed. Again. But I can't keep worrying about him and his mood swings. I need to focus on myself and my family. And that starts with me getting this promotion. I wish it was that simple, Nancy. Please, Sally, don't take this away from me. Not after the last 24 hours I've had. I'll try and speak to the board of governors. Thank you. But I wish you'd told me about your situation before. I guess I was just embarrassed. You have nothing to feel embarrassed about. And all this keeping secrets from those closest to you, no good's gonna come from that. Now, I've gotta get on, but I'll see you later. Spill, what is it? Don't even worry, it's just... That we think that Viv is trying to take Demarcus back with her? What? Well, you can't really blame her, can you? I mean, you know, your fella's gone missing, the kid started bunking off school, so she probably thinks he's gone from the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> what has this got to do with you, anyway? If Felix was reliable, like my Fergus, then he would provide a stable home for the lad, but he's not, is he? I mean, she can't even find him, poor soul. <laughs> just saying. Ugh. Ignore her. How can I? She's just saying what everybody else is thinking. If Felix is away, then can she be a parent to Demarcus? And if the answer is no, then yeah. He needs to go back to Viv. Hi, this is Felix. Please leave me a message. Hey, it's me. I need your help. Oh, pick it up, lads. Active recovery. I mean, it should be a piece of cake to you two. Look at Sid. He's still standing, burning calories. Just let them go at their own pace, yeah? Oh, I thought they wanted to get a serious pump on. Go on, do another plank, show them how it's done. Yeah, well, they held their plank a lot longer than I did. I get it. Reverse psychology, yeah? Give their crumbling confidence a boost. Wait, why are we doing this? 
I'm happy with the way I look. Where are you going? <laughs> That's it. Go on, quit. Bye. <laughs> what was all that about? Ah, oh, about me getting results. Leela, right, there is something wrong. You're gonna tell me or what? Come on. You got another round in, yeah? Let's go. Uh, whoever it is, just just uh, just give me five minutes, please. <sighs> Felix. You know your whole welcome home, nice to see you routine. You know, could be worked on just a little bit. Just... You shouldn't be here. I mean, if Fergus sees you, I won't let that happen. Oh. But what about the children? How do I explain? Stop. Stop, all right? No, I'm gonna go see Warren, find out the dealio with Fergus. But I had to see you first. Look, just to spend one second with you, I'm... I'm willing to take that risk. I love this side of you. I wish everyone could see it. I'd shout it from the rooftops. And instead, I have to pretend you are away on business when everybody else clearly thinks you've done a runner. Yeah, I know. I know. But soon, all right, we'll be back to normal and we can be a proper family. Me, you, and our kids. Me, you, our children, and Viv. Who? Viv! She wants to take Demarcus back with her. She says that I am failing him. I mean, how can we move forward with our future if, if I am letting you down in our present? Firstly, you're not failing him, and you're definitely not letting me down. But I'm gonna need you just to hold in there a bit longer. Which I know you, you can do, because you're the glue that holds this family together. Look, um, I don't want you to think that I forgot about the dressing coming off today. Have you um, had the chance to look? All right, um, I know you probably want to do this alone, but I'd be honored if you let me share this moment with you. Are you sure? 100%. There is no distance It cannot be covered over and over you're not defenseless I'll be a shelter I'll be your armor I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear your SOS your Mrs. Westwood. Nobody, nobody is going to stop me from being with her. Mrs. Westwood. Has a ring to it. I hear the whisper So this is it. Everything from the Bluebird folder. Everything. I made copies so the Fergus would realise anything's gone missing. <laughs> Look at you. Criminal mastermind in the making. Now that is a way to put a smile on your old man's face. I didn't do it to make you happy. I did it to find the truth out about Bluebird. So this is it. I've got you now, you scumbag. Tenancy agreement. Deeds of exchange. All of this looks just like Fergus. Legitimate and boring. But where's the smoking gun? What is there? It has to be. Why, why would Fergus keep all this hidden away in a safe if it was just contracts? Some sort of code. But do you reckon you can crack it? Eventually. What 
happened to you getting back quickly so you can give my neck a massage? I've got massive knots from that workout I did today. A workout I did to keep looking good for you. You just knocked this picture over. Well, how am I supposed to know? The wind for all I care. Now come over here and give me the attention I deserve. Fergus. You get a bubbly, I'll get a massage oil. I will give you all the attention you need. I just, I just can't believe he'd be such a selfish idiot. You've given him the perfect life and, and this is how he repays you. I am struggling to understand it all myself. But seeing as Darren isn't going to be around, I am going to need some help around here, if that's OK with you. So you've told the kids everything? About Darren? Yes. About the pregnancy? No. I'm not ready to share that yet. Well, telling them about Darren, that was a good move. Then why don't I feel any better? You will do in time. I've told Sally. She was as helpful as ever. She even put a good word in for me with the governors, and they have offered me the role, so yay me. Hey, Nancy, that's great news. How can it be if the person I want to celebrate it with isn't here? And we should be enjoying this moment as a family. <sighs> I know it's, um, I know, I know it's hard. The truth is, Darren has left me alone to carry our unborn child. And there is nothing I can do to change that. <sighs> yeah, I'm sending something through. Did you get him? <laughs> I just thought I'd send you something to excite you before tomorrow's little transaction. <laughs> Don't say that look after my best clients. Well, I've already said. You know, that price, you're getting a bargain. <laughs> I should be charging. Hang on, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just saw a very large rat. Yeah. Yeah, disgusting, aren't they? When you see one rat, you can guarantee there's more. Yeah, I'll run. Um, I'll have to catch him in a trap. Stamp on him. Hey! Hey. Look, I just wanted to say thank you again for the present you got Minnie yesterday. It was... Why are those making you so happy? <laughs> because these, my darling, are going to sort out all my troubles. Well, all of our troubles. Thank <laughs> you.